This overview will cover attendance. Under My Courses, click on the class that you're teaching. On the toolbar on the top far right, you'll click Attendance. Okay, we're going to first add our schemes. So we'll go to Attendance Schemes. And we're going to select New Scheme. Okay, it wants a name. So we're going to pretend we're teaching a history class. And then down here, it's asking us for symbols. Okay, so we're going to give this first one P, and that's for present. That gives the students 100%. And we've got A for absent, which gives them zero. T is for tardy, gives them 80%. And you might notice here that we've only got three status lines, and we've got one more topic which is excused. Now the way the program is set up, we need to save what we've done so far before we can add a new status line. So we're going to, cl to click on save, okay, and it was created successfully. Now what we're going to do is add the number of status that we need, and we need one. Okay, and we'll add status, and we'll put in excused. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll save this. Okay, it was saved successfully. I'm going to click close. Okay, and then on the default scheme, I'm going to click set. And it's asking, are you sure you want to set history as the default scheme? I do, so I'm going to click on set. And there we have it, it was saved successfully. In attendance registers, click new register, and we need to give it a name. So we'll give it the name, this is our history class, and we'll give it a description. We'll do weeks one through 16. For the visibility, we need to allow the users to view the attendance register. And for the users, we include all users in the course. Okay. The next section we come to is called Sessions. And it has here what are sessions, and it will define it for us. So it says sessions are the components of an attendance register that defined one or more events to which the register applies. So this is where you're going to set up attendance for each of the classes that you teach. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll begin. We've got week one, and this is a Tuesday, Thursday class. So we've got Tuesday, and now we'll build Thursday. Okay, something I need to point out here. If you need to add more sessions, you have to first save the information that you have. So we're going to select Save. Okay, then that was saved successfully. So now I can go and I can add how many sessions I need. For training purposes, I'm just going to select one. And I am going to create Week 2 Thursday. Okay, I'm going to save the information. Very good. And now I'm going to close that page. Okay, so here we have our new register. We're going to click on it. Okay, so now here's my attendance for week one for Tuesday. This will be our first course. And you'll click on the calendar. And you can see that we've got several things here we can do, and I'll go over them with you. You can view it by user or by sections. We're going to view it by user. Okay. You've got an area here where you can select all the rows. You can set statuses. And then you've also got an individual area for each person where you can set their status individually. A trick will show you that will make it faster to take your attendance is you simply click select all roles. And then you go to set status. Okay. Under status, 
you're going to select P for present and you're going to save that. Now that of course shows everyone in your class as being present. But let's say that Kathy was tardy. We'll make her tardy. Uh, Diane was absent and Michael was excused. Okay, so now we've taken our attendance and we're going to save it. Save successfully. Okay, and go down here and that class is done and we cl click on close.